G'day guys, we're doing a problem today which involves trig identities. Now a lot of people find these quite intimidating, they don't know which identity to use where, and sometimes it can be quite frustrating and so people are turned off trigonometric identities. Now I'm here to tell you that there is no silver bullet to sort of learning how to do these better, all you've got to do is practice. So let's get to it. So what we have today is we have a question which is asking us to show that the exact value of 10 of 105 degrees is root 3 minus 2 in brackets to the negative. So negative root 3 minus 2 if we get there. So what we need to start with is we need a trigonometric identity that is going to allow us to add the angles which we already know the exact values to, say 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90. So we have to use an angle sum identity for tan, which is this particular identity here. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this 105 down into two values or two angles which we know the exact values of, and they're going to be 60 and 45. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by going, well, the tan of 105 degrees is equal to the tan of 60 plus... 45 degrees. Cool. Now what we can do from here guys is you can pretty easily see that this is going to be my A and this is going to be my B. Now from here if you know the trigonometric identity off the top of your head and I would suggest when you start to have it sort of lying around so you can get used to it but if you have the trigonometric identity in your brain ready to go you can just plug and play. It's literally just we plug in the 60 for A and we plug in the 45 for B. And in this case, because we're adding them, we're going to have the tan of 60 plus the tan of 45 divided by 1 minus the tan of 60 times the tan of 45. Now guys, when you're asked to find the exact value of any um, trig ratio, you're probably going to get this in a part of your exam which doesn't involve a calculator. So you're going to have to know what the exact values of particular angles are. So from here guys, what we're going to do is we know that the, well, you're supposed to know that the exact value of tan of 60 is the square root of 3. And we're going to plus the exact value of the tan of 45, which is just 1. And we're going to divide that by 1 minus tan of 60, which is the square root of 3, times 1. So I'm just going to leave that off. So this is what we've got to start with, guys. Now, as you can see, the answer that we've got up here doesn't involve any kind of denominator. So we're going to have to rationalize this denominator. And what that means is we're going to use the difference of perfect squares to in effect get rid of this square root here. So we're going to times this by 1, but it's 1 in a special way. We've got 1 plus root 3 over 1 plus root 3. So this is the equivalent of timesing it by 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to be able to get an equivalent fraction just without a third in the denominator. So once we've got that, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply out that denominator first. And what we have is 1 minus 3 in the denominator. And in the numerator, we have the square, if we're going to use our FOIL method, we have the square root of 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus the square root of 3. Cool, so we can put our like terms together and on the, in the denominator we have negative 2. And in the numerator we have 2 root 3 plus 4. Cool. So from here, guys, what we're going to do is we're just going to use a little bit of algebra to make this look like this. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to factorize the numerator by 2. So I have 2 in brackets, the square root of 3 plus 2 over negative 2. Now, as you can see, guys, these 2s will then cancel out. I'm going to move that negative sign to the top. And we are left with the negative square root of 3 
plus 2. So guys, basically with these trigonometric identity problems, if you have a good handle on your exact values for sine, cosine and tan, and you've got a good idea of what all your trigonometric identities are, for example, if you have this trigonometric identity in your brain, then it shouldn't be much of a problem. You should be able to just go, oh, I need to add two known angles together to get 105, figure out what those two known angles are, and there's only a few permutations of the angles that you can have, and then it's simply, we just plug these in to our ratios inside the identity. Once you've done that, it's just a manner of just making sure you don't make a silly mistake whilst you are simplifying it, and then you'll come out with your answer. So I hope the video helped, guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up, please. It really helps out my channel. If you'd like to see more videos like this, leave a comment in the comments section below. I do read all the comments, guys. And if you have a problem that you'd like me to try and solve, also leave it in the comments section below. But until next time, guys, just keep on practicing your maths. As I said before, there is no silver bullet. You've just got to practice, practice, practice. But just make sure whilst you're practicing, you just keep on enjoying it. So... I'll hopefully see you guys again soon, and yeah, thanks for watching.